With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked that the rainfall pattern depends on, right? So basically the rainfall pattern, right? If we talk about the rainfall pattern, so this basically means that how much rainfall will take place in a particular location, right? So the rainfall pattern basically depends on the number of water bodies, right? It depends on the number of water bodies that are present in that area or in that locality, right? So how it depends on the number of water bodies? So if we discuss how the uh, the cycle of the water or the cycle of the rain right so basically how rain comes right so first of all what happens is that the water bodies right water in the water bodies it gets evaporated right water in the water bodies it gets evaporated right then these water vapors right then these water vapors basically they formed uh, the, that are formed after evaporation right then the water vapors that are formed by the by after the evaporation right or by the evaporation they basically condense right they basically condense they cool down and they cause the rainfall right and that leads to the rain fall right so the if there will be lack of water bodies right if there will be lack of water bodies in a particular area then the amount of evaporation will be less right so that would reduce the humidity right that would basically have less of humidity or reduce the humidity in the air right in the air right and will adversely affect the rainfall right and will adversely affect the rainfall so the area which has more of the water bodies right that receives more of the rainfall right so if we just look at the options here so the options are the underground water table the number of water bodies in an area so this is the correct one the density pattern of the human population and the prevailing season in an area so rest of the other three factors nothing has to do with the rainfall right up except option b so the correct answer here is the option b right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today